The views, information, and opinions expressed during the following program are solely those of the individuals involved and do not necessarily represent the views of Access Communications, its representatives, or its employees. November 13th is Civic Election Day, and residents of the City of Regina have the responsibility to choose the candidates who will best serve our community. All eligible voters may vote for mayor, ward councillor, and either public school board trustee or separate school board trustees. To find out if you're an eligible voter, call 306-751-4479 or visit regina.ca slash elections. As a public service to our viewers, Access Now has invited all the officially declared candidates to present a campaign message for airing exclusively on Access Now TV. The views and opinions expressed in the following campaign messages are those of the candidates. Ward 5 is located in East Regina. Its boundaries are the CPKC rail line on the north, Tower Road on the east, Victoria Avenue, Quants Gate, Houghton Road, Woodland Grove Drive, Aarons Road, Prince of Wales Drive, Arcola Avenue, Pilot View Creek, and Assiniboine Avenue on the south, and Ring Road, Victoria Avenue, and Fleet Street on the west. Voters in Ward 5 are eligible to elect one of the following candidates. Darmish Dave. Grant Jakubowski. Marianne Moots. Leticia Oystrick. Shafon Shafi. Sarah Turnbull. Here are the candidates who are able to present their campaign message. Hi, Regina. My name is Grant Jakubowski, and I'm running for city council in Ward 5. I love Regina. I was born and raised here and care deeply about our city. My platform is simple. I want to ensure that we use our tax dollars wisely, improve our infrastructure, and make our streets safer for everyone. I believe in a vibrant, thriving Regina where families can feel safe, businesses can grow, and people from all walks of life feel welcome. I'm committed to tackling issues that matter to you. Better roads, safer neighborhoods, and responsible spending. My career as a sales and finance manager at Genesis of Regina and Taylor Auto Group prepared me to tackle the challenges our city faces. My success is grounded in my belief in integrity, honesty, and personal accountability. When elected, I'll get back to basics and champion sensible use of tax dollars. Taxes should not increase for Regina's residents. Prioritize sensible investment and in infrastructure and community safety are among my top priorities. Vote for me, Grant Jakubowski, City Council in Ward 5 on November 13th. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Marianne Moots, and I'm asking for your vote for Ward 5 City Councillor. I have a Bachelor of Commerce Honours degree and over 25 years experience in financial services. As such, I'm familiar with financial statements and the cost of debt. I have raised my family and lived in Ward 5 for over 30 years. I am more concerned than ever with our city's direction in continually increasing the taxes and expanding the debt. I've been hearing from neighbours and residents how all these tax increases are really creating a struggle for everyone. As I door knock, I'm also hearing from residents how important are our services and programming. From our little ones with swimming lessons to the older ones with free after school programs, with Glen Karen being one of the most utilized ones out there, to our adults in recreational sports and to seniors who enjoy things like pickleball and forever in motion, and our adapted users that we uniquely support to accommodate their needs. All these programs are necessary for good physical and mental health, and of course for fun. We also need fire and police services, streets and parks maintained, waste removal, and basic infrastructure focus. I have four key points in my campaign. 
My first commitment is to vote no to any salary increase council may choose to give themselves. We all need to make responsible decisions for the city of Regina. To help get costs under control, I say no to any raises council may suggest in the next four years. It is just a small part, but we need to start somewhere. Listening, I want to be the voice for our diverse Ward 5. It's full of passionate and hardworking residents that deserve to have a vibrant and safe Regina to call home both now and in the future. Unlike some candidates, I have no one funding my campaign or covering costs, which means if elected, I truly can be the voice for Ward 5 as I have no hidden favours owed to any outside group. Respect. When moving any project forward, it takes many people, both within Council and the City Administration, to make everything work, and I believe in a cooperative work effort. I promise to respectfully work with all parties to maintain and improve our infrastructure and at the most responsible cost to taxpayers. Always be the best for the City of Regina. I will address signs here. I do not have signs, as I have not been able to source a compostable sign that will stand up to our wind and weather. A sign that is good for only three weeks, but in our landfill for many decades is not the environmentally right choice. Our landfill is another cost concern for this city, and as it's nearing its lifespan, anything I can do to not contribute to that increasing, I will do so. If you are looking for the voice of responsible votes going forward, then please consider Marianne Moots for Ward 5. Thank you. Hey there, Regina. As you may already know, my name is Shafan Shafi, and I'm exhilarated to be able to represent Ward 5 as a city councillor. Being an undergraduate student at the University of Regina, exploring the facets of psychology, I will bring innovations from a fresh perspective. My major has broadened my horizon when it comes to understanding and addressing people's needs, as well as how to foster a strong, healthy relationship with one's community. I intend to renovate our roads by minimizing time spent on pesky construction and promoting for better snow removal. Community safety is a major issue, which is why I intend to implement restorative justice to make the streets of Regina safer and cleaner for all. Giving back to Regina is at the heart of my campaign. Uh, so affordable childcare and tax incentives is the least I could do. Regina having the fifth highest property tax rate is unacceptable. By advocating for transparent budgeting, I will make sure that tax increases are much more predictable and manageable. I'm determined to foster an inclusive, supportive city where no voice is left unheard. From the wisdom of elders to the bright ideas of youth, your ideas are what make Regina so remarkable. My experience and volunteering uh, in food distributions have made me a first-hand witness on how a united workforce of both young and old can effectively and efficiently accomplish tasks. This allows me to be the bridge that closes the gap between the two generations. Don't mistake my, uh, my young age for a lack of wisdom and authority. I'd argue that these traits don't come from age, but from first-hand experience. Being born and raised in Regina, I have seen the ups and downs of this city we call home. And just like you, I want to be an active voice in our community. However, a leader is only as, as strong as their supporters. And for this reason, I'm calling upon the voices of the elderly and the youth to inform me on the issues they face. Together, hand in hand, we can pave a road to a united, inclusive Regina. I ask for your help as a citizen of Regina to be at the forefront of revolutionary change. I believe a leader should be reliable and transparent. These are qualities I will abide by to ensure that Regina is shaped by those who will inherit it. With your support, collaboration, and votes, Regina will be two steps closer to a brighter future. Vote for expansive progress. All for one and one for all. Thank you. Hello, I'm Sarah. I have over 20 years experience in project management and design. I work for the Saskatchewan Health Authority in capital planning. City Council isn't a job to me. It is a purpose that has been calling me. I am a mother to two kids and my why is my five-year-old Blake who is a wheelchair user. In the past four years, we've encountered many obstacles. I've been at City Hall multiple times and multiple council meetings and meeting with administration. My professional background and my mom passion provide me with the toolkit to bring solutions to problems to make an impact. I am very proud of our work, especially in playgrounds. Four years ago, there were only two accessible playgrounds we could go to, and now there are five, including Jumpstart Park, the best park, which happens to be in Ward 5. This was achieved by changing the process of how we renew playgrounds. I had this impact as a private citizen 
with a full-time job and two kids. I know I can have a bigger impact as a city councilor with a vote. I want to bring the same attitude of eliminating barriers to the things that really matter to the community, the things that other people aren't talking about. Only 40 to 50% of the families can afford sports, which is the real crisis we face and need to address. What are we doing to increase access to participation? For those who can afford it, registration for swimming is the Hunger Games, ringtime fighting is pitting people against each other, and the Senior Center needs funding to continue. Events need to consider all abilities and needs, including sensory aware times and the addition of the access to card. We need to improve the things that touch our everyday lives. There are two return on investments. One is community well-being and the other is financial gain, which is used towards creating community well-being. If that project doesn't have the criteria, it will not have my support. Every capital spend project needs to be prioritized in an intake system and it will need current budget numbers before it is brought forward. Priorities will include facility assessment, use of space, community need, and community values. We need a middle ground where wants and needs are defined and developed for projects. If you're buying a car, sometimes you need a reliable vehicle to go from point A to point B, but you don't necessarily need the Ferrari with the sunroof. We have to be responsible with our decisions because if 50% of us can't afford the price of admission, it doesn't meet the community needs. I know I am the best person for the job. I know I will have a big impact to many people. I love Regina, my community so much, and I am showing up on the ballot because I know I will be my community's voice, advocate, hype person, and support. I got you, and hopefully you got me, with a vote on November 13th. I have impact, you have impact, but together we have the most impact. Election day is Wednesday, November 13th. Polling stations will be open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. There are 30 polling locations throughout Regina. If you are unable to vote on election day, advanced polls will be held at various locations in Regina. Mobile polling and special polls will be available to those who are hospitalized, homebound due to disability, or live in a special care home. For more information, call 306-751-4479 or visit regina.ca slash elections. If you'd like to share your feedback on the program you just watched, contact us today. 